Hey everybody, welcome to How to Elevate Your Breakfast. I am Chef Corso, head chef and founder of Monte Boca, and I'm here to put you on the path to amazing meals on your outdoor treks. All of our recipes are 10 ingredients or less, ready in 30 minutes or less, and really easy packing because you need to eat. But we're talking about breakfast today, and we're gonna focus on two great elevated breakfast options that probably aren't in your pack right now. So we're gonna make two recipes, and one of those is Dirt Bag Eggs Benedict. Yeah, you can have Dirt Bag Eggs Benedict on the trail for your brunch. And then also, uh, a really great, one of, my, one of my absolute favorites is Bacon Cheddar Grits. So we're gonna go ahead and get cooking, and I'll give you some tips and tricks uh, along the way as we're, as we're cooking this up. So we've got two camp stoves set up here today. We've got our classic suitcase style uh, Coleman, or this is a camp chef. And then we've also got a small little pocket rocket here that will cook up just one portion of our bacon cheddar grits. But first off, we're gonna focus on our Eggs Benedict dish. And Eggs Benedict is one of the best fanciest brunch recipes that you can get. And it's really, really awesome that you can have it uh, by the fire, by the river, um, on, your, on your treks. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to slice up our English muffins because we need to get those toasted. So just gonna cut these right in half, nothing fancy. And I'm also gonna get my stove going over here. And here today, I am using, yes. I don't know about you, it's the best time when you're cooking when you get to light the fire. But I am using classic cast iron skillet, but you can easily use any of these other skillets that are available out there for your camp stoves. But we're having brunch, which usually means you got a little bit more time. You don't need to get driving. You don't need to get hiking. So we are using the, the heavy big daddy over here. And we're just gonna add a little bit of oil to our skillet. And we're gonna let that warm up. And I'm gonna continue to slice up my English muffins. If you are gluten-free out there and English muffins don't quite work for you, you can easily find some gluten-free bread or you can make it into a bowl situation, which I'll show you how to do a little bit later. So I am gonna get my English muffins right in our skillet here. I'm gonna get those started toasting. And you might be thinking is, man, do I really need to toast the English muffins? Yes, you need to toast your English muffins. Please toast your bread. I have this saying that bread is not toast and toast is not bread. They are very, very different things. And why I say that is toasting your bread, your English muffins, your tortilla over the fire or in a skillet just gives it a little bit of crunch, a little bit of texture, and a really, really important layer of flavor for your dish. So mind your heat here on your skillet so you're not toasting too hot. So while that is toasting, we are gonna hydrate our hollandaise sauce. So hollandaise sauce is one of the classic French sauces, super fancy, really luxurious, and I made it multiple times where I'm sitting in a kitchen and I am whisking like this for 10, 15 minutes I'm not gonna ask you to do that when you're outdoors. It just doesn't work. But hollandaise sauce comes in a packet just like this. So just like gravy mix. And it thickens up just about the same as hollandaise sauce, at least good enough for me when you're cooking outdoors. So we're gonna hit it with a little bit of oil, or you could easily add some melted butter or margarine if you have that around. Oh man, our English muffins are toasting up nicely. Smelling great. Nice. I'm getting excited for brunch already. And I'm gonna add a teeny bit of garlic powder. Teeny bit of salt. So 
So we're finishing up with our hollandaise sauce here, and the last ingredient we need to add here is just a little bit of water. You don't need too much, maybe just about a cup. And I'm just gonna whisk that up. So we've got our hollandaise sauce all mixed up here, and we're gonna let, just let that hydrate for a few minutes. But our, our cast iron skillet is all ready for something else because we've already toasted our English muffins and those are looking really, really great. But the things that we're gonna put in here next are we're gonna make our, our topping or our filling. So we're just gonna use some pre-packaged and uh, pre-cooked ham. If you have some country ham, that can work really well too. Bacon, you know, if you do uh, uh, want something that's vegan, which could be kind of interesting for a vegan uh, Benedict, you could have some baby tomatoes and some spinach, maybe a little bit of chili flake in there and then just put those on their toasted tortillas maybe some vegan cheese. That would be really, really good too. But I'm a meat eater, you might be a meat eater. So we're gonna go with the classic meat option here today. And so I am just gonna go ahead and chop up our ham here into some nice dices. And the one thing I love about cooking outdoors, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. It, you know, I'm looking for things that are, you know, generally about the same size, but we're not at a fancy, fancy French restaurant. We're not making full hollandaise here. So it just does not have to be perfect. It just has to be tasty. So I've added my ham to our pan here. And I'll get my burner back on. And so this is already pre-cooked. So what we're looking for this is just to get a little bit of color and obviously to heat it up. So once our ham is in there, then we can get our eggs in our bowl and get those mixed up. And for some of your trips out there, you know, fresh eggs or farm fresh eggs, if you can provision those on the road, are a fantastic option. I also love supporting those local farms along the way. But if you are moto camping, or you're on a longer haul hike or trek, powdered eggs work really, really well. I know you're in either two camps with powdered eggs. One, you never know that they even existed, or two, you hate them, and I get you. They can be pretty cardboardy, but if you mix them with something else, they tend to take on the flavor of whatever you're cooking with, and it's a really great lightweight protein to, to have along for breakfast, but also for uh, other times of, of day, maybe you can add it to a soup, a hot and sour soup for dinner, or um, add it to your bacon cheddar grits as well for some extra protein. Nice. We are sizzling. And I'm just going to grab a campy, campy fork and just give that a nice mix. Also gonna add a teeny bit of salt to this too. And notice that I'm seasoning along the way. It's really important to season your food along the way, and it's really important to taste your food along the way, which we'll get to in a moment. But if you're ever unsure about a new recipe, a new ingredient, what I coach for folks is you can always, always add more. It's really, really hard to take away spice. It's really hard to take away salt, but you can always add more along the way to your desired flavor preference. Smelling good. You can even make this kind of a Southern Benedict and throw some andouille sausage in here, maybe a little bit of Old Bay or some greens. That could be pretty awesome. So this is the classic Egg Benedict style, but think about the ways that you could kind of jazz this up. Maybe some smoked salmon, some goat cheese, baby tomatoes. Oh man, all that sounds really, really good. Nice, so our eggs are all mixed up here. And I'm then just gonna go ahead and add them to our skillet. And so the thing about Eggs Benedict, talking about fancy hollandaise sauce, but the other fancy thing about Eggs Benedict is poached eggs. And poached eggs aren't overall too hard to do, but they are pretty finicky, and sometimes they're not the best option for trail cooking. 
So we're just making scrambled eggs here. Nice, smelling great. Okay, so our scrambled eggs Benedict here are all done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer this to another container so we can make our hollandaise sauce right in this pot too. So this does have a few steps, but this can be a one pot meal. Nice. So we're bringing back our hollandaise sauce mixture here and we're gonna add it to our pan. And just like gravy mix, there's a thickening agent in here that just takes a few seconds to thicken up so we have our sauce. Yes, nice. Oh man, it's bubbling away. I am getting really excited for brunch. Awesome, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat here. And the last thing we're gonna add to this is a little bit of lemon. It's gonna give us a little bit of freshness and really bring this together. Oh man, that smells so good. I wish you could be here. And talking about tasting. So I'm gonna make sure I'm tasting my hollandaise sauce. Mmm. Mm. So I'm tasting, tasting that lemon, a little bit of creaminess, kind of some butteriness too. Um, but doesn't need any salt. But this is again your opportunity to add a little salt, a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit more lemon. Really just depends on your dish. So, the great part is now we get to put it together. So I'm just building my toasted muffs here. Again, this does not have to be perfect. You're just gonna eat it in a few minutes anyway. Steamy, really, really looking good. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of that hollandaise. Nice. And the last thing to make it extra fancy is a little bit of sliced green onion. chives, maybe some other herbs that you might have lying around. That could be pretty great. Nice. Oh my goodness, yes, there we go. That looks awesome. Oh man, smells really, really good. And the last, last thing, if you really, really wanted it, you could easily add a little bit of sriracha from your sriracha keychain, because of course you need that in your pack total need for your pack. But there we have it. We have our dirt bag Eggs Benedict. Perfect for any weekend or frankly any weekday breakfast that you have. But I know, I've been cooking, I'm gonna eat it. Mm, got hollandaise on my nose. Usually means pretty good. Mm. Nice, super, super yummy. But again, make this your own. All right, we're moving on to our second recipe. And for something without eggs, we're gonna make bacon cheddar grits. And I don't know about you, but grits and polenta and masa almost always makes it in my pack. It doesn't even matter how long I'm, I'm traveling or how long I'm hiking. It always, always makes it in my pack. And why is because it is so lightweight, it's so cheap, and it cooks up super, super fast. But you might be noticing over here, I don't really have grits, or I really don't have cornmeal. I have Jiffy cornbread mix. Mm -hmm. What am I doing with that? Well, I was curious, because Jiffy cornbread mix is cornmeal and wheat, an active dry ingredient. And I was like, hey, can we just add water to this and cook it up into a, a, a grits bowl or a polenta bowl? And can it be similar to, to that experience? And uh, I, I tried it one, one afternoon in the, in the woods and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And what's so great about this is that it's about 79 cents at just about any store in the country. So we're gonna use Jiffy cornbread mix as our grits 
uh, or polenta today, but the other fun thing about grits or cornmeal or polenta or masa is they're all the same thing. They're just dried uh, ground corn from different parts of the world and uh, adding different ingredients. So it's an incredibly versatile ingredient to, to bring along. So we are gonna be using our handy pocket rocket here. And why I'm using this is because you can make this recipe in any size camp pot. We've got a super small backpacker style 500 mil pot here today, but you can easily make this in a huge pot for a huge crew. For our ingredients here, we're using pre-cooked bacon. You could easily use some raw bacon if you like, but sometimes the pre-cooked stuff is, is pretty helpful. And some of these packable cheeses that are at just about every truck stop. You can really pack those along and our jiffy plus a little bit of water. So I'm just going to open up our package here and chop up our bacon. And you could make this as bacony as you want or you could just have it be cheesy grits. It's up to you. Bacon is all chopped up. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with a dry pan. Yes. And why I'm doing that, instead of adding our water first, is this bacon has been in a package for who knows how long. I need to wake it up. You know, you've been tired, you've been sleeping in your tent, sleeping in your rig for a long time. You need a few minutes to wake up. Well, this bacon's been doing the same thing. It's been sitting there on the shelf for who knows how long and it just needs a little bit of heat. Nice. Awesome, that's perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and add our water. And for a nice creamy consistency, we are looking for three parts water to one part grits, cornmeal, jiffy cornbread mix whatever you're using. And we're just looking to bring that up to a simmer and then add our grits and cornmeal. But the one thing to be careful of with our Jiffy is that active dry ingredient. So it's, it wants to grow up to be bread. So it wants to rise up, it wants to be big. So it's gonna froth up. So it's gonna froth up kind of like a cornmeal latte here. So it's something to be mindful of as we eventually add our jiffy. But while this is boiling, another reason why I love bringing cornmeal or grits or jiffy on any trip is that it's extremely versatile. So we're making kind of a classic Americana version here, but you could easily add some Italian seasoning, some artichoke hearts, olive pesto to make it Italian. You could also add some fajita veggies, a little bit of cojita cheese, some avocado, some chili powder to make it a tamale bowl. You can even do PB&J grits. So add your favorite jelly, jam, peanut butter, nut butter, and it is a great meal to get you out of your rut from just standard oatmeal. But I don't know about you guys out there, but you know, a sweet breakfast is nice at times, but having a savory breakfast uh, just hits the spot at, at times, and you just need a change up from all those sweet maple, apple cinnamon, all that kind of stuff. Nice. So we're just gonna add a couple spoonfuls of our Jiffy here. And we're gonna give that a stir. And this does have a tendency to clump up, so make sure you give that a nice little stir. Nothing like watching a pot boil. And while this is coming up to a simmer, stay tuned because we have a secret special third breakfast recipe for you right after this. All right, well this will continue to hydrate as it sits here, but wow, look at that. So creamy, so frothy, 
Then we need to add our cheese here to finish off our bacon cheddar grits. Nice. Add whatever cheese you think sounds great for this. Nice, oh man, so warm. All right, let's give it a try here. Be careful, this is hot. Sometimes good to let this sit a little bit. Mmm, mm, nice. Got nice bacon flavor running through there. Nice and frothy with our grits. But again, this is extremely versatile. Super cheap backpacker, camper, rig camper option to include for your morning breakfast. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot eat the apple cinnamon packets anymore. The maple brown sugar, they are dead to me. But oatmeal and granola are still a really great ingredient to pack along. But consider having granola as your base. And what I love to do is make it tropical granola. So to change up the flavor profile here, we've got dried mangoes. that seem to be at every Costco these days. We've got pineapple tidbits, but you even have some dried papaya, macadamia nuts. Raid the bulk aisle for the tropical ingredients, but the secret ingredient for this is coconut milk powder. Yeah, they make coconut milk in a powder form, and it's an amazing ingredient to pack along for any, any trip. But you put your tropical fruits together with a little bit of water and your coconut milk powder, and hit it with your granola on top, and you've got a very, very different and super delicious breakfast. And by the way, this can also turn into crisp and you can have dessert too. But thanks for coming along for Elevated Breakfast. Hope you enjoy our Dirtbag Eggs Benedict and our Bacon Cheddar Grits, both super, super awesome, really, really quick, tasty recipes, so you don't have to eat those darn maple brown sugar packets anymore. But check us out at OutdoorEats.com for over 200 trail-tested recipes for your treks coming up, or check out our handy pocket-sized cookbooks so you can take along with you and make sure that they turn out great. But get out there, boca boca.